Well, first of all, thank you very much for coming out today. It's, a, it's quite an honor to, to be here and represent 70,000 Air Force Reserve citizen airmen and, and our United States Air Force on this big day, and a big day for the great state of Kansas. So uh, with that, I'd just like to get to your questions and get moving. It's super excited. We're about maybe an hour and a half away from the first aircraft arrival. All three aircraft took off on time, so things are tracking very well. Um, a little surprised with the snow today. I don't think we saw that coming, but you know, flexibility is key to the air power. So we're rolling forward. So what questions can I entertain for you? Sir, first question, yeah. can you please uh, say your full name and duty title and then spell it out for me. All right, so first name is Bruce Philip Hesseltine Jr. Go by Phil, Phil Hesseltine. I'm the uh, wing commander of the 931st Air Refueling Wing here at McConnell, and I'm also a Derby resident. Why do you say this is such a big deal for Kansas? So why do I say it's a big deal for Kansas? So, uh, to be honest, uh, the city partners of the of Wichita and Derby, Hayesville, Andover, Mays, you know, without the support that we get here from you, there's th that is the number one reason why this aircraft came here. We could talk about dual runways and great airspace and, and history with uh, with aviation in this town, but it really comes down to one of the number one questions that was asked when they made the decision to make us main operating base one was, how well does your community support you? And I can tell you, and you'll hear my comments later today, there's an Abilene trophy and a Tampa Bay trophy that says that the Wichita community is the number one supporter of their airmen in the United States Air Force. So it's without question. Big day for the state of Kansas. We've been looking forward to this since uh, 2011. It's been kind of, uh, you know, when is it coming, when is it coming? It's been Christmas and here we are. So I'm very excited for giving this back to the state of Kansas. I think the, the gift started this summer when we had the air show. And so it's been a, an amazing year. We, we did the air show, we did the uh, USS Wichita, and now we're here bringing home our aircraft. And by the way, this is two aircraft this week, two aircraft next week, and then we'll take a little bit of a pause, and then we'll have two aircraft about every other week from that point on until we get a total of 34. That's a big deal. You are the first Air Force base in the entire world that is getting the KC-46. So I'm super excited to be at Kansas today. The, thank you for the question, by the way. Yes, uh, next question. Could you go back over what that schedule was real quick? I... Okay, well, first of all, alibis, fluid schedule. So we're gonna get two today, and then next week you can expect two more. I believe it's on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. There will be a couple of weeks pause while Altus Air Force Base gets their aircraft, and then we're gonna transition to the next round of aircraft. So about every other week, I would say, you could probably expect to come and have a visit with us again. So that's the beautiful thing about this aircraft. It's not an active duty aircraft, it's not a reserve aircraft, it's an Air Force Air Mobility aircraft. And we will dual use these aircraft and we will fly integrated together with the 924th and the 344th Air Refueling Squadrons paving the way for, for our Air Force united in, in, in one voice and one front. So I'm excited for that. It's a change in the way we do business in our United States Air Force and, and we're very, very excited to be on the ground floor of that. Thank you for your question. Any other questions? I have a hard time spelling my name. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, people ask me, how do you spell your name? And I say, just fine. I feel, I'll spell it it's it's H-E-S-E-L-T-I-N-E. -E. Thank you. Any other questions? Sir? From the expression, uh, this aircraft is the new era of air refueling. Can you kind of go into that and explain what that new era is? Technology, national strategy, things like that. Uh, thank you for that question. So, um, this is... so. Let me just back up a second. I've been a KC-135 pilot for 20 years. So I am a dyed-in-the-wool tanker tote. I don't know anything but air refueling. This is not a one-for-one -one replacement for the KC-135. This is an entirely new weapon system with nine key uh, priorities and, and, and capabilities that the aircraft comes with that the 135 just does not, some of which we can't even talk about. So it's fantastic. So game-changing. So you know, the amount of uh, ambulatory patients that we can carry with this aircraft, the increase of pallet positions up to 18, it's tremendous. And we're going to be able to reach and change the way we, we project air power based on this aircraft with the systems that it has and the visibility and the, the operational picture that this will provide to the joint warfighters is fantastic. And it, it ties directly back to our national defense strategy. We're going to map and we're going to change the way we do operations around the world based on this aircraft. So I'm very excited for it. But please, it is not a one-for-one -one replacement for the great KC-135, which I happen to love. So, Any other questions? I have a few more, have a few more minutes for questions. But we're going to last some time. Is it 
rare time. Sir. Yeah, uh, Missouri Assault obviously had a huge impact right. on the community and various other, uh, you know, all sorts of ways. Having, being the main operating base for, for this uh, new aircraft, what, is, what does that mean for the future of that impact in Wichita and surrounding communities like yours? Okay, so thank you for that question. So what I think you're asking is what is going to be the air reserve component contribution to uh, to this airframe and the fielding of this weapon system. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't stand in front of you and say that we are going to be partnered also with our 184th Intelligence Wing because on McConnell Air Force Base, those citizen airmen hold the, the, uh, the corporate knowledge and the skill sets when it comes to things like cyber and uh, interoperability of uh, data link systems. So we are going to be partnered with the 184th and the 931st and the 22nd together. So what is your citizen airman? Why is it special that we have an air reserve component? A citizen airman, in case you didn't know that, lives in a uh, traditional, we call it a three-legged stool lifestyle. So they have to balance their home life, their full-time work life, and then this military job that we have. And any one of those gets out of balance, then it's very hard to do any of the others. And I would hate that any of it would impact their family. But what I can tell you, and I think anyone would stand up here and tell you, we cannot do the mission of our nation without our air reserve and our citizen reserve airman capability. It's absolutely dead in the water. So we provide the strategic reserve capacity of your nation. So when the active component can no longer feed the fight or fuel the fight, then we step forward and we, we get right in their place and we're right side by side with them. And so I'm excited for that. Uh, it, it's why you're the greatest Air Force in the world I mean, and the envy of the world, quite frankly, because of what we can bring to bear and, and, it, through your citizen airman workforce. So, I'm curious. Yes. Are there any other governments, ally or not, around the world who have an aircraft that can match or close to the capabilities of this AC-46? No. No, absolutely not. So uh, there are other airframes, there are other uh, countries that are using a you know 767 type airframe, but this is a, a whole. The KC-46 is not just a 767 air refueling platform. This aircraft brings so much more to the fight than just air refueling. So the answer to your question is no, there are not. Uh, by far. All right, we have time for two more questions. Our, one of our last ones is going to be uh, right here. Sir. Sure. So, is Obviously, we're in a view to closing with this aircraft now coming to McConnell. Do we have a sense of, is there like a guarantee of how long that will make sure we know McConnell can stay a part of this community? Hmm. So that's a very good question. I would say that we have a long time to field this aircraft for the United States Air Force, and I think we are going to be gainfully employed with this weapon system for a very, very long time. So talking about closures of a base, I can't even begin to guess on that, uh, but I don't think that uh, right now anyone's looking at McConnell. KC-135? Yes. I believe the two the number I've heard now is anywhere out to 2040 and potentially on to 2050 and beyond. But let me, let me address that for you. I put my kids on these airplanes today and I would 10, 20 years from now. This aircraft is an amazing aircraft and it was built to standards that uh, were just well beyond anything we ever need. And, and the reason that they are so good right now is a testament to, to the world-class maintenance and uh, depot level support capability of our nation. So I won't have any problem making that same statement 20 years from now to put my children on a KC-135. So I think actually there was one question here in the back, sir. Did you, somebody else have one? Have you flown on it yet? Are you excited about flying? So the KC-46, I have not. I've flown the sim, and yes, I am very excited about it. Uh, one thing that is new from a, a KC-135 perspective, we don't have automated really anything. Uh, so uh, being able to fly the airplane with about that much flight control is, is a game changer for all of us. I'm super excited. If it flies like the sim, this is going to be an amazing, game-changing uh, aircraft for us. But because of the complexity of what this aircraft brings to the warfight, actual flying of the aircraft being that easy will be a priority. So, all right. Anything else? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your time.